everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great week so far. Today's video is a long awaited video. I have been excited to share with you guys everything and it is all about clean, simple eats. And to preface this video, this video is not sponsored. I did not receive anything for free. I found them and I tried it out for myself. So just to let you guys know that ahead of time, if you think that that like would change my opinion, which it shouldn't, it doesn't, but I just wanna let you guys know that ahead of time. So anything I say is because that's what I feel. I bought all these products myself and all of that. If you guys haven't heard of Clean Simple Eats, I have been sharing my experience over on my Instagram over the last couple of months. And it basically is something that I have seen over Instagram. They're from Utah, the couple that started this whole program. And they're both like personal trainers, fitness guru people. They're just amazing. And I wanted to try it out because one of my friends actually won the last challenge. And so I wanted to give it a try myself. And before we get started with kind of the whole program and my experience, I wanted to tell you guys kind of where I was at when I started Clean Simple Eats. I was in a dark place as far as my fitness and I, as you know, had twins about a year and a half ago. And normally if I work out and I kind of watch what I eat, the weight comes off and I'm fine. But I have been working out for ever since January, basically six days a week. and. I just, my body has been struggling. My hormones are crazy and my metabolism has slowed down and my body's just not the same as it used to be before I had the twins. So I knew I needed to try something different and I had seen so many people post about Clean Simple Eats and their recipe plans and I wanted to try it out. And so every couple of months they do a Clean Simple Eats challenge which is a six week long challenge. And the awesome thing about this challenge is if you buy their meal plan, that enters you into the challenge. So you send in a before picture, and then when the six weeks is over, you send it in after. And I think the grand prize, there was two winners, they won like trips to Disneyland and California and all that. So that's great motivation. I knew I wasn't going to win. I, I wanted to win, obviously, but I just kind of knew it wasn't gonna happen, which is fine. I just wanted to obviously take care of myself. So basically, you have a couple options when you buy their meal plans, and they do it every season. So there's a fall one, there's a winter one, there's a spring plan, and a summer plan. So this was the summer plan because it started in June. And you can opt to get the PDF version where you can just have it digitally or you can have it printed out. And I wanted mine printed out in a book because I thought that it would be just easier for me to have it all tangible. It tells you how to get started. It's basically counting macros. It's all about macros. And macros is the new thing. And I you know, hesitate to tell you guys this is what you guys have to do, but it really does work. And macros is way different than counting calories. You're not allotted a certain amount of calories a day, you're counting your protein, fat, and carbohydrates. And so once you figure out those, which this also teaches you how to do, then that's how you figure out what you need to be eating every day. And I noticed when I did that how little protein I was eating every day. Once you figure out that, and I can do a whole different video about macros, but it talks about the, that in here actually. Then, this is cool, it says tips for dining out. And so if you are going to eat out, here are some ideas of healthier options, which I really loved. So this is kind of what it looks like. Week one, see how it's completely broken down into meals. So breakfast, you have this. Snacks, you can choose what snacks you want because they have a lot of different snacks. And then it kind of tells you lunch, dinner, then you can eat the leftovers for lunch the next day. So you're eating six times a day. The other cool thing about it is in this, you get a grocery list and it's all broken down into meat and poultry, fruits, vegetables. So you're in, when you're in the grocery store, you know exactly like what to get in each section. That's what you do basically. You follow their meal plan. They also have a workout plan. I didn't do their workout plan because I have my I was trained for half marathon at the time. There's also a huge section in here that talks about like how to prep because they tell you to prep on Sundays and Wednesdays. And that was one of the biggest things I learned. Oh, and by the way, at the end of this, I will share with you guys my results. I didn't even tell you guys that. So I'm gonna teach you guys how it all works and then I'm gonna tell you guys my results. I love this, the recipe section. So they have snacks. So you plan out your snacks ahead of time. And these are very delicious snacks, you guys. Look at some of these meals. I kept posting them over on my Instagram account because I was that obsessed. Like their meals and their snacks, everything was so, so yummy. This is actually what I make every single morning. It's called a PB and J shake. I have it every single morning for breakfast. It's one of my favorite snacks or breakfast. They have delicious meals and I was so impressed because they're not 
difficult to make so you just have to prep ahead of time i've done other meal plans where it's really hard ingredients to find and it's difficult to find the ingredients but this is just simple you just have to know the right items to use here's a perfect example this is one of my favorite ones it was the peach caprice chicken and literally the only ingredients are chicken sea salt fresh mozzarella peaches basil balsamic glaze that was it like that's a pretty simple meal do you know what I mean? And it was so filling and it was so delicious. So I really, really loved this and I thought the meal plans are great and I continued to make these recipes because you know when you're wanting to be healthy and you're like, I don't even know what to make. This will keep you going. And especially like I said, they have them every season. So you guys can buy them and just, you don't have to do the challenge like I did. So I love this. This is like one of my new recipe Bibles. The other things that I bought, and I'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys asked me. So I'm just gonna kind of show you everything. I bought their protein powder. So this is their Simply Vanilla protein powder. It's like almost all gone because I have, I use it all the time. This is their brownie batter one. And then they have these two. They also have their own supplements. Um, their Super Greens mix and their Super Berry mix, which I'm also almost all done with. So these things are not cheap. I'm not going to lie and say that they are cheap. Um, they're definitely more expensive, but they are really good protein powders. The number one question that you guys asked me was, was it expensive? And yes, I feel like initially it is, but then you kind of get your groove and you can substitute meals. So if you don't want to, you know, spend more money on bison or whatever, cause there's a bison burger, then you can substitute things. And they have a Facebook page where you can ask questions and they answer them and that's super, super helpful as well. But of course it's going to be more expensive because you're going to be buying more fresh food on a weekly basis. And it's kind of, changed the way I think about food. It doesn't have to be some fancy schmancy recipe with all these crazy ingredients. It's pretty simple. Like that peach caprice chicken I just showed you. It's pretty simple and you can eat it multiple times a week and that will save you money. So I actually didn't count exactly how much I spent a week. I know some people said they spent like $250 or, or whatever, but I think it's kind of up to you what you want to spend. And like I said, I'm just going to use this from now on just for my meals anyway i'm not even doing the challenge anymore but i know if i want healthy meals this is a great resource for me so take that as it is it's definitely more expensive but you're not buying obscure products like um i've done other ones where you're buying like really random flowers and all that like this is pretty simple stuff that you will just find at the grocery store and it will last you a long time the one thing i do recommend is a lot of the recipes i think you need to use their products because i think they taste better because they were made with those exact protein powders. So one of the, my favorite things that I would do is make the protein balls on Sunday night and I would have them throughout the week as a snack once a day and that helped me a lot because once again, I am really bad at eating protein. I really am and I noticed a big difference. So now for the exciting part on my results and all of that and if you guys have any other questions, comment down below and I'll make sure to answer those. But I think that was the most popular one is, is it expensive? And I feel like it is, but I don't want to give you an amount because each week was different and all of that. So it definitely is not going to be cheap, but in my mind, it was worth it because I was struggling and I'm going to get emotional <laughs> in this video because, um, I, I still struggle with my weight and I'm 20 pounds more than I was before I get birth to the twins. And I'm not trying to get down to that weight, but my body is just, I'm stuck in this body that I don't recognize and it's harder for me to run. It's harder for me to do things because I'm not what I'm used to being, if that even makes sense. So I wanted to do this challenge because I needed something to challenge myself. I wanted to change how I ate because eating changes everything. You guys know how that is. So here are my results. I will post them right here on the screen for you guys. Here are my before and after pictures. And I honestly, I get emotional because I didn't all of a sudden have an eight pack when I was done in six weeks, but I was pretty impressed with what happened in six weeks. And I lost almost five inches all over and I lost seven pounds. And on top of that, I wanted to tell you guys that I actually had my BMI measured again. And I'm really proud to say that I've lost 5% body fat since January. And that to me is way more important than the weight that I've lost. I've lost body fat 5% and I've also gained muscle weight, which is so awesome. And that's what you want to see, right? Like you want to lose the fat, but it's that's why weight doesn't matter because you can be gaining weight because you're building muscle. 
And one of the biggest things I've learned recently is how important it is for me to lift weights and how much that will help me. I'm just cardio, cardio, cardio all the time. So this is my before and after. I feel great and I wanna keep going. And I just feel empowered that there is something I can do to change and counting macros and having healthy food options was so important to me. And now one of my favorite things that I did during the Clean Simple Eats challenge for snacks was turkey jerky. My favorite snack was one ounce of turkey jerky with one uh, cheese stick and two clementines. That was a snack for me. And that's a lot of food for a snack, but that's all food that I could take with me to the pool. And anytime I run errands, that's what I take with me because I get the munchies a lot of the time. I get the munchies a lot. And when I get the munchies, I eat unhealthy because you're just gonna grab something that's already processed or whatever. So those are good options that you can eat. And I love that because it taught me so much about food and what are good options. So when you need food, are you hungry? Are you craving something sweet? And that's another thing, there are some really delicious snacks. So like when you're craving, let me find the picture. It was this s'mores lava cake. Look how yummy that is. So when I was craving chocolate, that's what I would make. And it was so, so yummy. So they have a lot of great options for you guys. But I love the whole program and I feel like I've come a long way in the last six, seven weeks here. And what I did as far as working out was I was training for half marathon. So I was running about three times a week because I needed to obviously keep that up. But on the days I wasn't running, I was doing bikini body guide workouts, which I have on my phone. And that's a different video I could do. But that was super helpful as well because that was more building weight and strength in different ways using my own body weight for things sit-ups and push-ups and squats and all that and then the other days i would do the cardio so that is what i did six days a week for those six weeks and i ran my half marathon the day before the challenge ended so that was kind of cool that it all ended at the same time but overall it was such a great experience and once again you don't even have to do the challenge i encourage you if you want to buy their meal plans you can even just get the pdf and print it out yourself if you want to save money because i believe don't quote me i want to say it's like 50 60 bucks for this the printout one but to me it's worth it because i'm going to use this for all of time so it's all about what you think is worth it for you and if you don't want to do this plan then go online and look up different macro friendly recipes that's something you can do too but if you are struggling like i was and you need kind of like a jump start do the challenge i think the next challenge is september 10th and i think i want to do it again so if you guys want to do it with me please do i definitely saw results and i definitely have a different relationship with food now i understand it more and I just want to fuel my body in such a better way. And I just, when I eat normal food now, because I've gone out to dinner a couple times with family and I get a stomach ache because it's like my body's not used to eating that because it's been eating so clean the last couple of months. So I had a great experience. And if you guys want to check them out, I'll link their Instagram down below. Once again, this video is not sponsored, so they're not paying me anything or giving me a discount or giving me anything free. This is just my personal experience. And I've encouraged a lot of my friends to do it. And I have a few friends doing it right now. And it really is just such a game changer if you're wanting that in your life and you need some sort of direction this is what is going to help you is having a meal plan and knowing exactly what you're supposed to be eating, when you're supposed to be eating it. And the biggest thing is prepping ahead of time because if you don't, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. You guys know that saying. So that's just how it is. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm so excited to share with you guys more about my health journey because I have a ways to go and that will be a whole different video. Uh, because it's been frustrating. Ah! Anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.